Nah, I'm listening. Nigga, if you're a YouTuber and you ain't going through spinning the block, don't come talk to me about it. You pulled up to the right spot because on this hunter side, we spin the block. And if you want the truth, you got to like, share, subscribe to SJ Got the Juice TV. I kind of want to act whack about this, uh, <laughs> this clip from a few years ago I see in regards to Spice Y. Because, <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember he got mad at me about something about part I think. Yeah, because, uh, he was speaking up, up on you on interviews, so you have went to Instagram Live, and, and this is what you said. Hey, yo, listen. It seemed like all the has been washed up rappers. They done ran out of verses and whatever they done ran out of. So I guess I'm the name to mention. But look, my nigga, if you got a problem with me, don't mention my name to the world, nigga. Just get to it, nigga. That's buck shit. Don't, if you got a problem with me, anything I'm saying I'm doing, don't go tell the world you got a problem with me because then if something happened to you, then they blame it me. Hold that shit. Maintain the element of surprise on your side. And when you see me, get at me. And that's it, my nigga. Like, come on, my nigga. This nigga Spice One Blood on Pablo. You a base head. Spice one blood, look, any nigga, I don't give a fuck for my set, whoever said blood, Paul Root, any nigga that smoke rocks, crack cocaine, glass dick, willow, straight shooter and lighter, any nigga that smoke crack cocaine, I have zero respect for my father, nigga shot me out my nuts, I don't even call him by his, nigga, I call him by his real name, you are a bass head, you went from rapping, my nigga, to smoking crack. It's real shit. And in 2019, nigga, you doing interviews about WAC 100? Nigga, what the fuck, nigga, blood? You need to go over there to them programs, my nigga. 12 steps, 13 steps, whatever that shit is, my nigga, and tend to your motherfucking base headism. Because let me tell you something about a base head, an addict. Once you an addict, you always an addict. So, Spice, look, dog. You cost $750 to book on a show. Boy, you better stop playing with me, nigga. And tend to your rapping, nigga. Leave me the fuck out your vocabulary, nigga. I don't know you and you don't know me. And it's a hundred niggas around you. E-40, Frisco, Chuck, all kind of niggas. Selly Sell, you know got my line, nigga. So if you want to holler at me, nigga, on some real shit, nigga, you could have did that, nigga. All this old Instagram, YouTube shit. You's a bitch ass nigga. You's a base head. Real facts. This ain't me making nothing up. You are a crackhead. Nigga, crackheads don't get no G status, no rapper status, no nothing. You are a base head, my nigga. Tend to that problem, my nigga. You don't want this problem. You want attention. You got 10,000 little followers. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let me say, I can't come up with a single. Don't nobody fuck with me. Nigga, I'm smoking crack or didn't smoke crack. I can't go to my auntie in them house because I done stole some shit. I can't go tour. I can't go do nothing. So you know what I'm gonna do? What can I do? Let me do an interview about Whack 100. Man, listen, my nigga. The truth is never hating. You never hate. Niggas say, all oh, whack, you got bad skin. All oh, whack, you short. All oh, whack, you bald headed. That's not a nigga that hating. Nigga, that nigga telling the truth, nigga. So if I say some real shit about a nigga, two pop, one pop, whoever the fuck, myself, nigga, this real, it's not hate, nigga. It's the truth, nigga. Remember that. And the truth is this, Spice One. You are certified on Paru Basehead. You have smoked rocks, crack cocaine, nigga. You have smoked rock. That is a weakness, nigga. You are a weak individual. Any nigga that smokes crack cocaine is a weak motherfucker. I'm going to leave it like that, my nigga. You cost $750, nigga, for a show booking, boy. You better stay in your place, nigga. Boy, stay in your place, nigga. For I'll fuck around and spend some Gucci slide-in money on your bitch ass, nigga.
my name out your mouth, nigga. You wanna holler at me, nigga? You know how to get to me, nigga. Paro. <laughs> yeah, that was pre clubhouse. I was a little fucked up back then. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, what? Oh, was, he definitely was, was smoking them stones. I was very I angry back then. Shit. Nigga, I remember that shit. That <laughs> nigga was hot. He said, man, this motherfucking face head nigga talking shit, nigga. That nigga smoked crap, G Wayne. I was like, damn, nigga, G Wayne. Hey, nigga, G Wayne. Hey, hey, you know, hey, listen. Hey, yo. Uh, if me and G Wayne would have been Sally's, I could see G Wayne sitting at the bottom bunk looking up at me saying, Damn, blood, you finna really go to the yard and do that? I be really gonna do that, nigga. <laughs> 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 oh, man, man. We don't uh, have so much fun and shit. Uh, <laughs> Wag get turned off, nigga. Ain't no turning me down, nigga. I'm telling you, man. I, I won't even tell the biggest what I'm going to do. I just disappear. Man, man, nigga, just, you just got to watch it. Hey, remember, remember, remember the, uh, what the fuck was that? The, uh, the, the viewing of that, uh, Compton's, uh, what the Compton finding? That documentary A&E. On, on Sunset or whatever. Yeah. We Gold and some the shit. We was all in the theater watching this shit, right? All you hear is, oh, pyro, bitch. Nigga, me and we, you know, the other homie, we looking. Like, man, that's whack. Man, we come up in the lobby, nigga. That's a nigga on one. By yourself. Him and one other individual. On one. I say, yeah. That's whack, nigga. <laughs> oh, that bitch. Be- I had to tell that bitch on the tell bitch. You can't tell me what we doing at my shit. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they know now, though. Like, I've been, man, I've been fucking with this nigga, man. You can't tell him what to do. At his shit. At my shit. At, at his shit, nigga. Bitch, that nigga you think I'm an extra, nigga. bitch? I ain't no extra. I'm the executive I'm, producer, bitch. I'm you okay? Shit. <laughs> that nigga say, man, I'm paying for this shit. You can't tell me nothing. That's it. Matter nigga, of fact, I didn't fire. Hey, I didn't fire a few people on the spot. Matter of fact, go home. Uh-huh. <laughs> go home. Go home. Go home. I don't want you working by event. Uh, yeah. Fuck out of here. Fuck uh, out of here. Real. But you well, know what I noticed though, bro. Um, that's pre like Clubhouse has helped me understand that whack. This is the game they playing. They're gonna use your name. They're gonna use your name for the clout. It, Clubhouse has helped me really understand that. That's why now when they do it, it don't bother me. Like I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like back then I was like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? You know what I'm saying? Spice one. This hey, nigga talking about two pop. I think Clubhouse got a little thicker skin. You yeah, now, now I understand. Yeah, yeah, because you get a thousand, this is just, hundred thousand different ways now. Instead yeah, this of just that one artist or that one person throwing your name out there, it's hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I thing. get it now. So you Before like, I didn't get that you. shit, I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is Spice One talking about, nigga? He ain't too pop. Hell nah, nigga. <laughs> you a dope fiend, nigga. <laughs> You ain't got no words. Hey, whack. Remember we was at uh uh, uh handsome damn. And what bothered me, I was a real spice one fan. Yeah, yeah, I thought that nigga was I thought that nigga was from LA.